Take a deep breath. Just like when the chokehold of Officer Pantaleo tightly grasped around the neck of Eric Garner, cut off his oxygen and suffocated him, this country is suffocating from the asphyxiation of resources, support, and sadly value of the least of us, the people that need help the most, the ones whose ancestors built this country. This country is suffocating because it's already given up on its youth. The thing is, we were dealt a bad hand, and everybody in this room knows it. I just want to say, I am so happy that it's sexy to talk about equity now. <laughs> Somebody in this room gets it, right? Yeah. I too believe that the answers lie in self-determination, that it'll take the most oppressed in our communities participating to solve all the problems. A revolution at this point is absolutely inevitable. And each day I'm more convinced that I'll see radical change in my lifetime. Young people need to learn to mold this society into something better. Dream Defenders is an uprising from communities in conflict, shifting culture through transformational organizing. We started in 2012 in response to the savage murder of Trayvon Martin by the state of Florida. With a 40 mile march to ensure that George Zimmerman was held accountable. We got Zimmerman arrested with our collective power and when George Zimmerman was acquitted in 2013, we took over the Florida State Capitol for 31 days and 30 nights to push for fundamental change in Florida's laws. So what is learning? Here's the definition. Learning is the act, process, or experience of gaining knowledge or skill. That sounds right. When we're in the Capitol, we learn more about being civically engaged than any civics class even tried to teach us. We were lobbying, we had our membership crafting legislation, and we were organizing. Since then, with our squads all around Florida, we've been mapping out the power in our communities, we've been organizing, we've been taking direct action on targets that plague our communities, our families, every day. And we're not the only ones. Groups like Black Youth Project 100, Ohio Students Association, Hands Up United in Ferguson, everyone involved in Black Lives Matter, and so many more are engaged launching and winning campaigns, and learning how to create the radical change that we need. We found that the most important thing for us to be doing right now is build a movement. And while there's plenty of information out there to guide us, nothing is better than pure experience to find out what works and what doesn't work. This is a transformational experience. As we transform ourselves, we will also transform this country. What side of this transformation will you be on? I just checked today to make sure the correct number is 503 people that police have killed this year alone. It's not July yet. I don't have to check to see, to know that there are 2.2 million people that are locked up today, and 59% of them are black or Latino, despite them being minorities. Dejaria Becton is a 15-year-old black girl that just a couple of days ago was violently arrested by a 40-year-old white police officer. He put his full body weight on her, slammed her to the ground, put his knee in her back, and pulled on her braids, not before pulling his gun on the other black kids that were there and the diverse group of kids that were there at the pool. Brittany Overstreet is a 10th grader in Tampa, Florida, who had her jaw broken in two places by a school resource officer who thought that she had mace in her bag. She didn't have mace in her bag. To make matters worse, she's facing a resisting arrest charge right now. This is what it sounds like when the system screams that your life doesn't matter. This is the trap. We're seeing it from all angles. The trap is a revolving door of dehumanization that happens to people of color in this country. There are three main perpetrators that work together. Are you ready to hear them? Yes. Schools, police, and prisons. And it's gonna take a lot of innovation for us to disarm the trap and to create something better. School didn't prepare me to have to fix this country in order for it to be inhabitable, in order for it to be a place that I feel comfortable having children one day. The most important thing, the most important type of learning that people can receive today is by participating in the movement. So I have some questions. How is this digital learning technology going to provide groups like Dream Defenders with tools that they need to develop more robust political education, skills training, and leadership development for our membership? What does digital learning look like in prisons to provide a quality edu education for people whose dignity has been stripped away from them by the state? When kids like Brittany Overstreet are pushed into alternative schools, or worse, how are you going to provide the best quality education and technology for them to learn? 
they need it the most.